How's it going there, guys? Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. This is a character spotlight update for Sheffy. Sheffy finally got her six star update. A lot sooner than what people expected, but definitely an update that she really needed. And uh, besides that, she's got a serious case of red eye. Okay, before I go to the character, whatchamacallit screen, did she always have the red eye? I don't think she did. I really don't think she did. It, it's like, either I just didn't notice or whatever, but she got the red eye. That's for sure. I got her maxed out. Sheffy, from her introduction, I didn't I didn't even need to really see any of the storyline. Sheffy just seemed like a cool character, a character that I liked, and it's still a character that I like. But when she originally came out, really 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 disappointing character and i mean a super disappointing character but right now maybe not so much all right let's go ahead and get to the skills we got to cover all the things skill number one snowshoes she likes her shoes single target damage attack that also lowers physical defense the damage for this skill increases based on the number of ice dragon marks you have and it will consume one of them now the Ice Dragon Marks come a little bit later with the Union Burst. The Union Burst is going to apply them. I'll get into more detail, but this is like her core mechanic. So the Ice Dragon Marks, keep it in mind, it is core. Skill number two, Frozen Lake. Yep, she likes to ice skate on the... I don't know why they call it snowshoes. It should have been ice skates because she makes the Frozen Lake and she skates around on it. So it should have been ice skates. I'm, why am I just now thinking of this? The character's been out for a while. Dumb, whatever. Skill two places a small field on the ground that slightly increases physical attack power according to the number of ice dragon marks you have. I believe this affects everybody standing in it. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty decent, but I'm not. Sh I can't remember. Does it affect everybody? Chat uh, down in the comment section. Tell me if it affects everybody standing in it. I think it might only be Sheffy herself that is affected by it, because you know she's got the ice skates. Nobody else does. They'll just be slipping and falling, so it only makes sense. I think about logic too much. Not there's anime logic and there's like actual logic. I think over here a little bit too much and then I surprise myself when I think about the anime logic part. I'm dumb, whatever. EX skill, it's around here somewhere. I'm going to say. Increases physical attack power. If you happen to have her at five stars, it greatly increases physical attack power. Five stars or higher now. Okay, and the Union Burst. Ice Dragon Moonlight Dance. It is a large single target physical damage attack on the front enemy. It adds five of those Ice Dragon marks, and each Union Burst after adds an additional mark up to ten. <laughs> oh, boy. So basically, you add marks, you're capped out at ten, and things get a little bit better to that point, and it caps out. And this is kind of what hindered her until the six star upgrade because you only get so far right and it was fairly lackluster when she came out so it was just like eh whatever let's go ahead and look at the unique equipment real quick here unique equipment the ice dragon sword you know one of those things where you know the, the weapon that she has and that she's using and beating the crap out of monsters with she now officially gets i really hate that that's just... anime logic real logic stop Upgrades the snowshoe skill to be ice skates. That's what it should do. But anyways, it, it upgrades the skill so the physical defense debuff is about 1.5x better and provides an attack power buff for herself. Yep. All right, it's pretty decent. It's not a bad uh, unique equipment uh, upgrade. When it when it when she came out with the unique equipment upgrade, nothing really changed. You got it. Character got better, but still not good enough to like throw her at all the things and have her fighting like mad. There were a few strategies I saw where it was like, okay, we can use Sheffy now, but it didn't last long and it wasn't much. But we do eventually get the six star upgrade and the six star upgrade is actually really, really, really good, at least for her in general. Okay. Six star union burst, the frost fang. It goes from being, let's see, what was it? Ice dragon moonlight dance to just frost fang. I like it when things get simpler because I am simple. Okay, got a little bit of a wall of text and from doing all these videos today, <coughs> running a little dry. Frost fang, a large single target physical damage attack on the front enemy and adds seven instead of five as before ice dragon marks and each union burst after is an additional mark and can hold up to 20 max instead of 10. Also generates technique points every tick for 10 seconds so long as she's on a frozen lake. 
So in other words, dump her in the lake, charges up, it's all good. All right, that mechanic's actually really, really strong because a lot, it, just about everything that she does scales with those ice dragon marks. And, you know, you had the cap of 10, now you have the cap of 20. And, you know, some of you might be thinking, it's like, oh, 10 to 20, oh, it's going to double, right? <laughs> well, well, guess what? Yeah, you'd actually be right in this case. It seems like most of her skills and buffs and debuffs and everything nearly or right around double. So the six star upgrade is actually really freaking good. Okay, let's go ahead and throw her into combat here. And you know, I had the worst luck grinding the freaking uh, six star fragments or whatever they're called. I just, for whatever reason, just did not want to give them to me. Just didn't. And then I had to guard, because uh, I was working on the unique equipment at the same time, I had to grind those shards and it wasn't giving me any of those or no bonuses or nothing. So yeah, I had to use some DAs to finish it off because I got sick and tired of waiting. I was doing videos today. We had to do it. So basically the six, what the six star upgrade eventually does, and I do like how this is modified. Yeah, that as you get the eyeball thing come down. Woo! That's a lot more damage, don't it? Significantly, anyways. The six star upgrade effectively makes all her buffs and damage better because of the max increase of the ice dragon marks, like I said. You know, it's not an exaggeration to say that everything is like doubled now with this character, which is going to put her at like SS, SS plus tier level boss fight character. That's what she is now. We're probably going to see her in an awful lot of different uh, groups because with all the with the group compositions that are out there, the ice lake thingy that's out and she does her union burst and she starts getting the technique point ticks. I think she can get like 46 of her technique points every tick for 10 ticks and it can overlap. So essentially she can really start to pump out that union burst like really, really fast. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a charge up, but it goes quick. And depending on how you make the group and how everything else charges and combat speed and everything, it just can be stupid. It can be really stupid. And I don't know. Sheffy to me was always a great character. The moment I saw her, I was like, okay, this character is cool. I like her. It's a cute character that you know is going to be doing some damage. And one of those two things was true. She's a cute character, but she didn't do damage for crap. But now she's both. Now she's both with the six star. And you guys should like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Sheffy finally got a six star. Y'all happy with that? And hit that like button. It's all good. But. You know, I don't have to go into like, should you pull for this character, should you whatever, because a lot of us already have it. When it, she comes out on global, I guess this is what you should be looking forward to, okay? I mean, it's a long ways away, but if you're sticking with global, when Sheffy comes out, it's not a bad idea to pull for her and gear her up if you have the extra fragments. I mean, she's going to be a permanent character. Then there. You're probably, by the time this uh, comes out, going to have a ridiculous number of uh, fragments or whatever da what, whatever the heck it is to get her right you're gonna have plenty of time to do what you got to do but it's not a bad idea to get her and go when she has her banner initially so it's just one of those things it's like okay do you want to be prepared for when she comes out do you care or are you just gonna you know try your luck and just save your jewels as most free-to-play players are going to do if you're a whale you're going to do what you got to do but if you're trying to be a little bit more strategic here and there if you if you think you're going to be playing global two, maybe three years from now, eh, you can go for it. You're looking way ahead of time, but that's what we've been doing, right? Uh, global and JP, the folks playing on global should be looking at the stuff on JP and planning ahead. And I've been meaning to actually do a video on this or whatever. I'll get to it when I can. I got, I got to me the regular job. So the time frame's kind of mad, but that's what you should be doing. You should be looking at what's going on on JP, especially if you are, you're exclusive to global and plot accordingly so you don't waste any jewels whatsoever. There's a lot of information out there and it is wonderful. So when Sheffy comes out, you have to decide based off the six star performance, is it worth spending those jewels to get her right then and there to get the extra memory fragments so you have an easier time later on? Or are you just going to sit around, wait and hope? And honestly, that's up to you guys, but... I wouldn't put uh, too much hope in on Sheffy because when she first comes out, it's bad. When she gets her unique equipment, it's still kind of bad. When she gets her six star, that's when things get really, really good. 
We'll catch you in the next video.